right, what is up Tech Twins? Ray here with Twin Folk Tech, and today we are taking a look at the Blackview Airbud 7. Uh, Blackview was kind enough to send these out to the channel, but they have not gotten any sort of input or influence over this review. So everything you hear will be my own opinion. I uh, just wanted to get that out of the way. This is technically not the first for the channel. I have gotten some other stuff sent out to the channel, but I needed to get this video up uh, pretty soon. Anyhow, um, yeah, these are the Blackview Airbuds 7. So let's go ahead and uh, open these up. As you can see though, uh, from the uh, picture here, you got a little bit of an LED battery status level here. And these are the open ear style stem type of earbuds. So open the box and obviously I've already unboxed this, but you are gonna have the earbuds case themselves. And then you'll have a nice little USB-C charging cable. But getting back to the earbuds, I have had the opportunity to test these out over the last few days. And I just wanna give you my honest thoughts on these. Um, up front, I will say um, these are not gonna be for me, but that does not mean they won't be uh, suitable to your taste or to your needs. So first things first, these are going to be available on Blackview's website. And I want to say as well on uh, Ally Express for $29.99. Um, so these have the LED display here. As you can see, it lets you know what your charging status is. Um, I think it's got like a 470 milliamp hour battery on the case. Uh, the earbuds themselves have 13 millimeter dynamic drivers. I know that might be a lot of, uh, technical gobbledygook for some folks but they've got you know uh, a pretty nice punch uh, when you're listening to these so these do actually surprisingly support wireless charging and i can demonstrate that here real quick battery share going and so these actually do support wireless charging which is pretty unheard of at this price so again these are 29 dollars, and they do actually support wireless charging I was kind of surprised by that, but yeah, that's one really cool thing. Um, also, uh, these are coming in at IPX7 waterproof. Um, now, I didn't like dunk these in a crazy amount of water or anything, uh, but I did, you know, let them get get a little bit of splish splash on them, and they seem to have survived. So, um, I just you know shook them out for a little bit afterwards and they still worked. So these are gonna be more of your consumer grade tuning, um, meaning lots of deep punchy bass, um, lots of you know good uh, good highs. And the mids are kinda, kinda scooped out. The bass kinda does roll over everything, but for those of you that are bass heads, um, even though this does not have like an ear tip to seal, I think that a lot of you bass heads might really still enjoy these. These are very, a very warm tuned earbud. Um, so these do also benefit from uh, environmental noise cancellation as well. Uh, so it does help, you know, when you're listening uh, to the earbuds and it kind of helps to cut down on some of your surroundings, even though you can still hear your surroundings since this is an open air earbud. So the playback time on these bad boys, you're looking at about six hours um, and a total uh, of 30 hours with the case so that means you got six hours of play time on the earbuds themselves and then about 24 hours on the case and of course your battery life is going to uh, be a little bit different just based on the volume that you listen at but generally speaking um, in my testing I did get about that time like I could not kill these earbuds so yeah I think that for the price they're not bad but there are a few gripes that I do have so one thing is these claim to have Bluetooth 5.3. I have no way to verify that, but they also do claim to use the SBC and AAC codecs, the Bluetooth codecs. So that is um, basically how well these uh, transmit the uh, the audio data over a Bluetooth connection. So SBC is pretty much your standard Bluetooth codec. That is just like the base level. That is the minimum uh, that a Bluetooth product has to have to work over Bluetooth. So it's not very, um, you know, good for clarity or uh, for any type of analytical listening. It's pretty much just going to be, you know, this is the sound that you have, and I'm putting it over a Bluetooth signal. Um, the next step up from SBC would be AAC, which these also claim to have. However, in my testing, I was only ever able 
to connect to these over SBC. So I tested these out on my Google Pixel 7 and um, I only was able to get an SBC um, codec showing up as as the uh, the Bluetooth codec that these were using. Now these also I did test these out with my um, iPhone 13 Pro, uh, but there's no way for me to verify uh, what type of codec they were using um, on the iPhone. Now iPhones they only use SBC and AAC, and since uh, when I looked in the uh, the developer settings of my Pixel 7 and I didn't see that AAC was an option, only SBC was an option, that leads me to believe that only SBC is the highest codec that these are possible of uh, playing. But I will also say, if you are looking at open ear uh, or open air, however you wanna say it, like ear tipless style earbuds, then you're probably not really too crazy about you know clarity and the highest Bluetooth codec you could possibly get. So. I think that's fair enough. Um, there's not going to be any sort of app with these because um, these are just kind of like, you know, pick up, uh, plug and play. Pretty much you connect these. That's the sound signature that they're going to have. And that's the sound signature you're going you're gonna to stick with. So um, these also are going to have touch controls, which I actually think work pretty well. Um, so for the left earbud, you tap once. That's uh, volume down. Uh, right earbud, tap once. That's volume up. Um, and if you tap three times on the left earbud, that's the previous track. Three times on the right uh, earbud, that's the uh, next track. And then uh, if you tap and hold for two seconds on the right uh, earbud, then that gives you a um, like a gaming mode, like a low latency mode. But I will say, honestly, <laughs> funnily enough, when I turned on the uh, game mode, the, the, the low latency mode, the latency actually got worse. So I would say if you're going to be like using these to watch YouTube videos or something like that, then you might want to just leave the gaming mode off because in my testing, at least, I don't know if I have like a unit here with quality control issues, but in my testing, the game mode made things worse for latency. Um, I could definitely notice a, a gap between what I was hearing and what I was seeing whenever I would watch uh, like YouTube videos and, and people would be talking on them. So that's one thing I would say to keep an eye out for. And then also, of course, um, on either earbud, like if somebody's calling you, you tap twice to answer in a phone call. You would tap and hold for two seconds to reject a phone call. Um, and then if you wanted to summon your, your voice assistant, I believe you want to press and hold down for like three seconds or something, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I mean, for these, even though this does have your more consumer grade sound signature, which I do feel like will please a lot of people. I, for me, I'm not too crazy about bass, but I do feel like this will please a lot of people. The sound stage on these is pretty wide. Um, that was one thing that I was very surprised to to feel. But I guess that is, you know, something that is uh, just caused by having that open ear design. I, I feel like a little bit more involved in my music uh, because of the openness of these earbuds. Another issue I was having was just basically these always felt like they were going to fall out of my ear. Um, I guess for me, I am somebody that does use, you know, earbuds that actually do have the ear tips on there so you can get that proper seal. Like I'm not really one that is a huge fan of the open ear, but um, for that reason, um, that's usually why I don't go with them because all of the time, whenever I wear open ear earbuds, uh, it feels like they're falling out of my ears. I like to have that ear tip in there to get that seal um, and make sure that no audio is leaking out or anything. And, and I am being, you know, like cut off from my surroundings and I'm really able to focus in on the, um, the content that I'm listening to or watching. So that's one thing that I do not like about the, um, open ear style but overall um once i made minor adjustments and if i wasn't like talking while i was wearing them it once i made minor adjustments i could get them to stay in there a little bit better uh but it just took a little bit of fumbling around with um anyway these are like i said these are running for about 29.99 so would i use these personally in my everyday life no but are these still a pretty solid pickup i would say yes besides the fact that they advertise that they have an aac codec which i can neither verify or uh you know deny that they use it um other than that, I think this is a pretty good pickup. For, for $29.99, you're getting wireless charging. You get this cool little LED um, status for your charging case. I think this is a pretty neat pickup. These are definitely unique. Um, and you can pick these up in both the black and the white color here. So 
I will be leaving some links in the description for Blackview's website as well as to the Ally Express website uh, where Ally Express is doing the 1111 sale. And I think that runs through the 12th actually. So um, definitely be sure to hit those links below to check out this product. But that's been the Blackview Airbuds 7. So as always, be good to each other, be good to your tech, and stay 20. I'm out of here.